Welcome to the Business Tech News of the Week offered by 4Week MBA. And we try to understand what's going on, what changes are happening, and what changes are happening in terms of business models of those tech giants that dominate the world, but also how they affect the whole economy. Now, let's start from a, you know, a war which is going on in the e-commerce space. And this is primarily happening because of uh, you know, the, pandemic, the pandemic, which has uh, really uh, forced uh, companies to take decisions that otherwise would have taken years. One example, of course, is uh, in, on the e-commerce space, if you have a small business in the past, it was an option to actually build your own e-commerce store. And right now, it's not an option anymore. You need to have it, at least to complement uh, throughout this period, the, the revenues that you're lacking from the physical store, but also on the other side, to try to reconvert at all uh, all your you know, business model uh, to actually uh, e-commerce. And in this, uh, Google and Amazon are trying to uh, compete. Of course, Amazon is by nature really uh, um, an e-commerce company. And as such, even though uh, the traffic uh, that Amazon has in terms of uh, you know, uh, queries and searches on, on the product platform are small compared to Google, it's very important to really uh, understand that most of the searches that are happening on Amazon those are really searches that uh, users make to, to buy things. So where Google has to guess, in some cases, uh, what's the commercial intent behind the queries of users, for uh, Amazon, it's much simpler because in many cases, what people are looking for is really products and really things that they want to buy. And so for Amazon, it's much simpler to get the data that it needs to understand what's the purchase intent behind it. So there's not much guessing. Google is um, making available, opening up a platform called Google Shopping that before was just uh, available to whoever uh, was paying to be featured within this Google Shopping. But right now, uh, uh, Google is uh, opening this up uh, in US and then globally to everyone. And this is a very important move because it's telling us that Google wants to make sure uh, to uh, enable as much as many small businesses as possible to be part on the platform. Uh, this because of course is going to be in line with its current business model of selling ads uh, within the platform once those uh, get uh, really become loyal uh, users. So once you understand that Google Shopping can be a huge uh, important channel for your um, you know, business, small business, uh, you will also be willing to pay uh, for advertising and featuring uh, your products with additional things that, for instance, you don't have in the organic listing. And right now, Google is, uh, has made this move and this war between like Google and Amazon for e-commerce is really at an attempt for Google to, uh, p to actually um, pick up uh, from from Amazon domination and trying to really uh, not lose uh, the, 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 the pace of growth uh, also because on the other side Amazon uh, is very w uh, well positioned for that. Um, and this is also in line with the current things that are happening, uh, especially in the last months uh, when it comes to Google. Uh, if you follow the company, you know that Google does many, many updates every year to uh, its uh, core um, you know, algorithm, but also to uh, the other products that are part of the Google Galaxy. So a company like Google, even if it is a tech giant, it runs hundreds, if not thousands of experiments each year with the aim of growing and understanding how to evolve its own products. There was uh, recently another update in May um, in line also with, uh, with the fact that Google is uh, really trying to evolve based on the scenario that we have right now. So we will see, um, we will have more data in the coming weeks about what the update may be about, but right now it's very important to understand that Google is changing uh, more and more quickly and we're seeing more of those core updates in the last months because the company is trying to really uh, keep up with the, the, also the behavioral change of millions or billions of users around the world. So this is very important to follow. So in the e-commerce space, not only Google and Amazon have uh, you know, made an important move, also company like, uh, you know, like Facebook uh, has done that uh, by enabling um, actually users to set up their Facebook shops. So this is a new thing that is coming up on Facebook is very important because also it shows how Facebook is moving in that direction uh, to uh, attract small businesses on the platform and to enable them to uh, feature their shops on the platform. So this is another move from also uh, Facebook. Connected to that, um, there is an important partnership going on between also uh, Shopify and Facebook, as we will see in a second. And I already covered on the four-week MBA, and again, you will find the link in the description, the 
um, the, the um, uh, ability of some companies to really go through, uh, grow through uh, partnership marketing and Shopify is one of those companies. Recently Shopify has uh, really uh, come up with a partnership agreement with, uh, with Pinterest to make uh, the transition from having a Pinterest account to, uh, to um, actually to having a Shopify e-commerce to having those products uh, seamlessly um, integrated in Pinterest so that you can uh, grow and amplify the traffic of your products and this is a very important move because again it, it helps uh, small businesses to give more amplification to their products and this is at the core of, of partnership marketing so we partner up to grow our market share on both sides by offering more value to um, our audience your audience and that's how we grow and another important partnership is, is between Shopify and Facebook where uh, Facebook is uh, will implement within the the Facebook shops, which will which will be so branded with the, with the uh, Facebook uh, you know brand. But the Facebook shops will be really an integration happening between uh, Shopify and um, and uh, Facebook, where uh, Facebook will uh, enable uh, again also here seamless integration for e-commerce that are set on Shopify on Facebook shops, so that uh, the transition between uh, showing uh, your e-commerce on Shopify and uh, you know making those products available on Facebook is going to be much much easier. And another side note is uh, is how Facebook has acquired a company called uh, Giphy which um, is a company that made popular uh, gifts uh, uh, online and um, the, the Facebook paid 400 million to uh, integrate uh, Giphy within its uh, ecosystem and it's interesting because Giphy uh, was you know pretty much uh, making um, you know not much not much revenues yet uh, it was uh, valued uh, for 400 million by Facebook and now it's getting integrated within the platform another interesting news of the week is um, if you know Joe Reagan is one of the most uh, popular uh, podcasts um, on um, you know on the web and right now uh, it seems like uh, this is becoming a Spotify ex exclusive why is this important well because uh, if you if you follow for we can be you know that uh, often I cover the transition from platform to brands and Spotify is just one of the, the those other companies that is born like a platform that but right now is transitioning into a brand so it's transitioning into a company that is uh, uh, really uh, willing to uh, invest in uh, sort of original content, exclu exclusive content to make sure that consumer can recognize their brands as much as possible but also to have more tight control on the content that they put on the platform. And then another interesting news of the week, it seems to be an app called uh, Clubhouse which uh, has been valued already at 100 million according to venture capital film uh, firm uh, um, uh, A16Z. Um, and uh, although it, it only has uh, 1500 people and users, although from those users there are very important venture capitalists. So this shows us that also, um, you know, if you create hype in the right space, also if you have a small uh, adopter use base initially, if you're in beta, you can still build something extremely valuable. And those are the news of the week. Uh, you know, uh, I'll see you next week. If you like this format, really let us know. Let us know if you want us to cover more things.